Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are you? And、uh, in case this is first time you attend this free lesson, and my name is Violet Lee.、Uh, well,、um, this morning I woke up and uh, to uh,、um, kind of shocking news, and、uh, the president of United States and、uh, the first lady、uh, are infected with COVID nineteen. I guess、uh, that tells us.、Um, Covid nineteen doesn't care who you are.、Uh, you can be the most powerful person on the face of the earth, but、uh, if we do not、um, observe the, we don't adhere to the mask wearing, and we don't do social distancing, and、uh, we are all you know can be vulnerable to it. And、uh, it doesn't matter、um, what do you think. About、uh, Mr. Trump,、uh, his uh, policy, you agree with him or disagree with him, and we wish him and the First Lady have a speedy recovery. And at that time, everybody, please be safe, wearing your mask, and keep your social distancing. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, well, let's get started. Okay, we got a lot to do, and、uh, today, as I announced previously, Kathy Young is going to be here. It's going to, I guarantee you, it's going to be a great class. So let's waste no time and get started. Okay, shake your hands, and、uh, gradually move your hands upward over your shoulders. Keep going, and over your head. Good, 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 good. And now fingers point at ceiling. Woo! Turn it really, really quick. Feel the sensations. Feel the chi. Feel the energy in between your palms and your fingers. Good. And now shake your hands downward. And、uh, if you don't have any knee problem, and engage your knees, okay? And、um, And pumping your heels, good. And if you're sitting, you can also pumping your heels up and down, good. And now bring your heels down and keep shaking, 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 and stop. Good. Feel that sensation. Good. And now, and、uh, we're going to do the wrist rotation. Let me go closer. Go to the front. Turn to your right side toward yourself, left and front, and、uh, go all the way around. In case you haven't noticed, I mirror image you. So this is your right side. This is left. Good. And one more time. And now turn the other. Way around. I see Ed saying hello to Kathy. That's great, and、uh, yeah, Kathy is really wonderful. And she actually and came early, and、uh, so we already tested out. And I see her in the backstage, and、um, it's amazing. I mean, she has learned so much, and、uh, about、uh, you know Tai Chi Qi Gong. But she's following me, <laughs> doing the workout. So, and now. Stretch, push your hands forward, and now relax. Bring the hands to your waist, and we do the elbow rotation. And、uh, if you are standing, you can gently shifting your weight right and left, and、um, bring both hands together facing each other. Turn the palms down and pull to your body. Good and circle. Yes, I try to demonstrate all the movement, both sitting and standing, and sometimes sideways as well. Let's go for one more. Good. And now, a、uh, gentle fist. We want to turn to your right side twice, then left twice. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two. Keep going. Three, two, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stop. Good. And now, your right arm up. Yes, close to your head. 
but not like that, okay? And now using your shoulder, yes, your shoulder, turn the arm. And a lot of time people just swing the arm, right? We don't want to do that. We want actually using the shoulder to turn the arm. You will feel the difference. Um, when you use a shoulder to turn the arm, you will feel a little soreness, but it's a good sore. It's not hurting at all. And uh, good. Let's go for one more. Good. Now slowly brush through your right ear. Keep going. Feel that stretch. Good, 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 good. I can feel in my shoulder. Very nice. Okay, let's go for two more. Here's one and two. And switch side, going forward and down. Okay. And now reverse. All right, let's go for two more. Here's one and two. Next, gentle fist. One, two. Now hands facing up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull your arms back, right. Three, two. Last set for two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stop. Good. Now rubbing your two hands together and gently massage your neck. Well, um, Kathy, Kathy Young, she uh, comes from a very, very prominent and family. And many of you know um, her father, probably so. And I don't mean that you, you shake hand, shook hand with him before, but you all heard about uh, Dr. Junming uh, Yang or Yang Junming. And um, yeah, and now lower your head. Feel the gentle stretch in the back of your neck and up and now tilt your head to the right shoulder and up until to your left up now look at ceiling back to center look over your right shoulder back left shoulder back now circle your head all the way around if you, for any reason you feel dizzy, you should stop doing this, okay? You can skip this one. Yeah, I have so much respect for Dr. Young, and Dr. Young actually got a PhD degree uh, from Purdue University, and uh, he had a, a great job with a large American company, and now reverse. However, he gave all those up and um, devote his life to promote uh, Chinese martial art, both internal martial art and external martial art. And stuff. And he is awesome. And um, uh, you know, if you saw his uh, Shaolin Kung Fu was really, really great. And uh, you, if you saw his uh, Tai Chi and uh, and that's also uh, excellent. And uh, he also um, developed uh, himself and uh, in the Qigong area. And um, that's really uh, great for promoting uh, people's health. So, okay, hands together. And then massage the, your kidneys. If using your hand is too difficult, you can use the back of your hand or even use fist. 
Yeah, unlike some of the people, a lot of time people call themselves masters or grandmaster. Even though um, Dr. Yang has accomplished so much in his career, but he never called himself, you know, a grandmaster. And uh, he for sure deserved that kind of title. And now, okay, we want to do hip rotation, turn your hip to right, back, left, and front. Keep your head suspended, okay? Good. So, um, Kathy, and, um, and uh, she is Dr. Yang's daughter. Now turn the other direction. And um, so, so first I asked her, I said, is that because your family make you practice? And she said, no, no, she, she, she just uh, love it. And uh, she also has a very, um, um, I mean, uh, her, her body seems is, is very good. When she was a little girl at six years old, she could do a, uh, uh, some of the, 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 the jumping things and better than the others. And uh, so I guess she does have a neck for that. Good. And now hands together. And we want to massage the knees. And now using your hand, gently guide your knees outward circling. If you're sitting, pick up your heel. Can you see? Oh, maybe I should turn my screen down a little bit so you can see my hair. So you go outward circling and now reverse. Yeah, if you're sitting, just ha have your heels up. Good. Next, we're going to do the front lunges, okay? Let me demonstrate for you sideways so you can see better. And then your right foot in the front and left foot in the back. And make sure your right knee stay either above or behind your heel, okay? You using your left hand, pushing your hip forward and you want to go downward pausing, not forward pushing. This puts too much pressure on your precious knee, okay? So if you're sitting, you bring the knee to your chest and hugging tight, good. Yes, all the way in. Keep your upper body upright, just bring the knee to your chest. Now uh, switch, now left foot in the front, right foot in the back again. Downward pausing, and you're sitting, knee to the chest, all the way in. Very good. And now, let me tilt the screen a little bit so I don't have to stay as far. Good. So now we do side lunges. Open your legs as wide as you can handle. Shift your body weight to your right side, okay? Don't turn your body. Body square, facing the front. Okay. And if you're sitting, gently pressing your knee down. Very good. Feel the stretch. Good. Okay. And now switch. Okay. And now you're sitting. Good. And now, and uh, if you're standing, place your right foot, right toes on the ground and uh, using your right knee to draw circles. And then you're sitting, the sensing, and then we turn the other direction, okay? Good. Switch, now left toes in the back. And Pick up your left foot, good. And now turn the other direction, good. And now let's do the A sections of brocade. And as I mentioned before, A sections of brocade is about 800 years old. And then there are uh, many different ways to do it. And uh, the way I 
I uh, learned it is I learned from our grandmaster Miao Fu Sen, and uh, it's the the one sanctioned by the Chinese uh, uh, Health Qigong Association. So, okay, let's get started. Okay, and um, feet together first, and now left foot out to the side about hip width apart. Now round the hands to the front with hands facing your low, lower ab and slowly inhale and exhale. Relax your mind, relax your body. Good, now bring your two hands together and flip the palm and going up. Make sure your elbows straight, look up and now look straight, move elbows back, feel your lower back arched, good. And uh, you could probably can see better my arms straight. And now look back, move arms, I mean look straight, move arms back. Liang So Tuo Tian Li San Jiao. Both hands pushing toward the sky. And it's great for the health of your spine, your shoulder, your lower back. And of course, most importantly, the triple warm. Very nice, good. And the next one, if you're standing, uh, you open your legs wide, but make sure your toes don't fan out like this way. Bring your toes in and uh, bend your knees, both hands cross in front of your chest. Slowly pull your arms apart, but don't turn your body, only turn your head. Okay, now open your right, look at your right hand, hands coming together, and pull. Good. Open left, together, pull. Make sure your left wrist is standing up at a 90 degree. Of course, now your right hand will be at 90 degree. Open your left. 左右开弓, 四射雕. This bow and arrow exercise great for the health of the lungs and the heart. Yeah, uh, yesterday is so-called the Mid-Autumn Festival uh, uh, for people in the uh, East and the uh, Zhongqiujie. And so it, it is uh, fall season already. And according to Chinese medicine, fall is the season we really need to develop the health of the the lungs. And that's why today we have Cassie going to be here and she's going to teach us uh, more and uh, she's going to uh, teach us a four season Qigong. Okay, good. And um, so next, uh, both hands facing up and uh, slowly bring your left hand up through the center line of your body, then twist and the right hand facing down. Good. And now, Left, up, right, down. Good. This is called Tiao Li Pi Wei Xu Dan Ju. You probably notice with this exercise, your elbow can slightly bend. It doesn't have to be totally straight as we did with the first one. This exercise is great for the health of the stomach and the spleen. Very good. And last set. Nice. Now both hands down in the front. Open your arms and see, turn your palms all the way up. Now keep your body square facing in front. Only turn your head. Look at left and back. Open, look at right and back.
This is great to get rid of fatigue and also for the health of the liver and digestive tract. One more set. Good. And now uh, feet open wide. And if you're standing, both hands on your thigh. If you're sitting and bring your feet out at a 45 degree angle, again, the knees stay either above or behind your heels. And put your hands on your knees. And everyone, keep your back relatively flat and straight. And now lower your head to the right knee, circle to left and circle up, good. And now reverse. If you're standing, try not to pull your knee in as your head swing to the other direction. Yao tou bai wei qu xin huo. This can help to reduce the inflammation in the body. Good. Oh, I see quite a lot of people are sharing the class. Every time people share the class, the Facebook will uh, have a pop-up window. Okay, that's how I find it. Thank you. Thank you for sharing the class. Okay, now bring your feet in, arms up, and bring arms down, flip the palms up, hands to the back by the kidneys, and we're going to put the head down. And at the same time, we run the hands behind the legs. Yes, behind the legs. And keep your knees straight, okay? If you cannot touch the heels nor your toes, it's okay. Just keep your legs straight. Now, let's go. Move to the ears. And now coming up together. Okay, and sorry, my ear part fell out. And if you're sitting and uh, round the hands behind your legs, okay? And then if you have an issue, you cannot bend over and down for, for any health concern, don't worry. Just round the hands behind the legs. And then you can pop the legs up and by doing so, or even that's too much. And uh, using your mind, feel the energy travel down behind your legs, all the way down and then to the back and the front. Then you're coming up. There's a saying in the Chinese uh, medicine as well as uh, Qigong and Tai Chi, Yi Dao, Qi Dao means if your mind is there, you can send the energy there. Good. So this exercise is great for the health of our kidneys. And now hands open wide, bend the thumb, four fingers around. If you're standing, you can do high stand, median or low stand. Let's go. And turn your wrist at a 90 degree angle and open your eyes big and wide. Good. We're kind of running out of time. <laughs> okay. Make sure your eyes open wide and you still as screen and be young. Good. 转全怒目,真气力. That can increase your energy level. Up and down. Up and down. And the heel come down naturally without using any force. 背后七点百病消, you do this seven times along with the seven previous exercise, can keep the doctors away. Okay, shake it out. Okay. Oh, I am so, so, so excited. And uh, you know what? I just sit on this little chair and uh, see. Okay. And uh, now it's the moment. I'm 
invite uh, Kathy. Hello, Kathy. Hi, everybody. Hi, Violet. I'm good, thank you. No, we're both wearing blue. I know, I saw that. I like that. It's for the kidney. <laughs> we did not call each other and say, what's the color you're going to wear, right? And then this is funny. We, we were both wearing the same uh, color. And um, so, um, uh, yeah, I, I'm very excited to have you here. And then uh, I know you have um, participated at uh, many um, tournaments, both nationally and internationally, and you won um, uh, trophies and, um, and uh, on those things. Can you talk a little bit about that and how that felt? Well, yeah, when I was younger, I participated in a lot of tournaments. And actually, that's how I began pushing myself to be to, to be better than I am. Uh, I started to work on the inner power, the coordination, the, the rooting, and the spirit. And I think that's what I like sharing most when I do tournaments or demonstrations, is just to allow my spirit to come out and share with the world. Yeah. Wonderful. And then so, uh, but then you, you went into the Chinese medicine and uh, mm -hmm. tell us how, how did that happen? And uh, for a young uh, lady like yourself, and uh, I, and I know you, you got really, really good grades at school, mm -hmm. right? You could go to any field you want to, but why did you choose uh, Chinese medicine? And um, well, I actually started with ex clinical exercise physiology. So actually I was on the way to see. a doctor. And then I changed to, I started to connect more with the Qigong side. And I wanted to uh, understand the Chinese perspective of how to balance your health. And yeah, now I, I combine the Qigong that I learned from my father with the Chinese medicine side and the clinical exercise physiology. <laughs> Good, good. And you, you also got a, um, a degree in the Chinese medicine, right? Also for, uh, from the, the UK and also from the, 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 the best school, Beijing and uh, the, the traditional Chinese medicine school, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's uh, uh, excellent. Thank you. Yeah, I did my clinical placement internship in China. So I worked there for four months uh, doing, working in a hospital to combine the Chinese medicine with the Western medicine side. I see. And uh, so what, what did people in China thought about you? You know, you, I know you don't speak Chinese fluently. Oh, right. but, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's also not like I can do it right. And you, you, you have an American accent. You, I do. Yeah. Speak Chinese. <laughs> yeah. So, so how do they see you? Um, American and uh, a young American woman and actually uh, learning and practicing this uh, centuries old uh, healing art. What, what, what did they say? Well, you know, when I was in China, because people in China, they really value Western medicine. It's always when you see something from a foreign country, it looks more uh, something you don't have and it's impressive. So for me, growing up in the West, I find Chinese medicine very interesting. It's more outside of the American culture. And people in China, they actually find Western medicine very interesting. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so yeah, so, so you, 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 we, I guess the grass is also, always greener on the other yeah. side, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that, uh, that's, uh, that's very good. So tell us, uh, what are you doing uh, nowadays? Oh, so actually, you know, since the pandemic started, before that, I was traveling a lot to teach. After I finished my degree, I began teaching more and I would travel to Europe and also to South America, sometimes with my father, sometimes alone. And now since the pandemic, I've been doing all my teaching online, which is also very a new experience because I can actually see everybody from different countries. And at the same time, you know, I can continue sharing and I, I'm a very social person. So I like still having that connection with my students. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, with a uh, uh, pandemic and uh, the, the whole landscape has changed. And uh, I'm, I'm uh, doing, I, I have done uh, um, some of the remote teaching even before the, the pandemic, but it's a little bit different uh, situation now. I'm going to have 
uh, workshop people from from Europe is going to participate in, in, in my class. And uh, yes, you really feel like say the we're all coming together and uh, we are uh, truly connected and uh, mm -hmm. it's one universe, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's very good. And um, so um, uh, tell us a little bit about the, the four season uh, Qigong uh, you're going to teach today. Uh, can mm -hmm. you? Yeah, so I will give an introduction to what is Four Seasons Qigong. Basically, it's a very traditional understanding of how to balance your health with the weather and the energy on the environment. So, for example, in the summer, when just like the sun, everything's hot, your energy radiates out. So we have to balance it by staying cool, keeping our energy in the center line and down. Vice versa, when we're in the autumn and winter, your energy is naturally shrinking, just like cold energy always goes in and down. So we have to balance it by boosting the immune system, helping us to warm up and exhale longer to radiate that energy out to keep us warm and protect us. So I'll give you a basic understanding of what is yin and yang and a little bit of the Chinese culture of Chinese medicine. I will introduce you. Today we will focus on the autumn set, which is specifically for the lung health but I'll talk I a see. Bit about the other seasons too. Okay, before I let you uh, teach, I have one more question. And uh, I know you are an expert on many different sides, acupressure and uh, uh, the medical qigong and so forth. And the one thing you, you talk, and also uh, about uh, traditional Chinese medicine and the tui na and so forth. But one, you, you, you say it's a body clock. Is mm -hmm. that kind of a... Um, uh, relates to what you are going to, to work with us today. Uh, today. What does that mean, body clock? So Chinese medicine has something called a body clock, which is basically the Chinese way of understanding your circadian rhythm, which means in the morning when you rise, the hour starts from the lungs when you're in deep sleep, you're breathing deeply. When you first wake up, this is the large intestine hour, and this is when you usually have a bowel movement. When you clean it out, that's when the stomach channel comes, and that's when you can nourish yourself because the stomach energy is strong. And then it goes forward to all the organs, and each organ plays a role in your everyday life. I see. So it's uh, talking about the 24-hour uh, mm -hmm. cycle. So, yeah. uh, the the four season is four season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, I see. Now I got it. Well, this is very, very interesting and very uh, helpful. And... Uh, you know what? Uh, let me get out of. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> I had a nice talking. With so, so, so you you can take over and teach us uh, the, the important things. Okay. Uh, thank you, and thank okay. you for inviting me. So let me just set up my clock because I tend to go over. There's just a lot of things I want to share. Hi, everybody. My name is Kathy Young, and as Violet said, I learned uh, Chinese qigong and tai chi. And I started with martial arts from my father, Dr. Yang Jingming. I started with martial arts, so feeling the strength of my body and coordinating it with my mind. Later on, I became interested in Qigong around 11 years old. I was at a, a friend's birthday party and we did a game where you push your hands against the door frame. When you push against the door for about one minute, all the energy is going to the surface of your hands. And when we release the hands, we didn't know we were doing qigong, but the hands started to rise, just naturally. And it felt like floating, like magic. I was so excited, I went home and I shared it with my father, put my hands against the door frame for one minute, and then I released it, and I said, look daddy, it's magic. And he said, that's not magic, that's qigong. That's the first time I heard of what is qigong. And at the age of 11, that's when I did my first science experiment with Qigong. I had all my friends hold their hands out there for one, two minutes, and until they could feel the energy. So today, I'm going to share with you how to understand Qigong, so the flow and the cultivation of your energy, especially for the autumn season. So we'll go over all four seasons to give you an idea how the energy changes. And then we'll focus on the autumn set so we can practice a few movements together. So let's begin. I always begin my classes by opening your arms. Every time you open your arms, open the chest, 
You feel your heart opening. And let's bring it in for a big hug. When you open with a hug, you relax your body. When you're relaxed, your energy flow is stronger and your immune system is stronger. So today we're going to focus on the immune system. And I'm very grateful for Violet inviting me. I like that she's doing free classes to help people during the pandemic. So I wanted to come to also share with you what you can do during the pandemic and how to strengthen your immune system and your lung health. Let's open it up for a second time. I'm going to give you a hug. I'm very going to welcome you. I'm very happy you're here. And squeeze it really tight. I'm giving you a big hug from my heart to yours. And gently lower your lower back. You can feel your kidneys opening up. Kidneys is linked with the emotion of fear. Let's release those fears. Less fears you have, less stress, the stronger your immune system. And let's open it a third time. Let's send some love and energy to the world from our heart, radiate out all the way from your hand, chest to the hands. Let's radiate that energy from the heart and send it to the universe. Let's bring it in and give the world a really tight hug. Let's help each other get through these difficult times. And let's shake out the kidneys for the fears. Taking in deep breaths. Side to side. And slowly relax. Very good. Let's raise the roof. We're going to let our heart shine. Today we're going to learn about the Chinese medicine meridians. Meridian is the path where the qi flows. Where you understand the qi flow, you'll understand how your body is like a map. One part is connected to another part. So today, let's begin. Let's begin by first swinging our arms. This is actually the first exercise of the lung, the autumn set. This will help you relax. Nice and high. And let's trace the heart channel. Today I'm going to talk about how your heart is related with your lungs. Your heart in Chinese medicine is connected with your spirit. Your spirit is how strong, how strong you fight for your life. So everybody putting your hand on your heart. Take a moment, feel it breathing, beating. When you feel it beating, Everybody take your arm, give me a high five. Let's touch under the armpit. This is where the heart energy comes out and it flows from your armpit, drawing a line. Everybody trace a line all the way past your palm and past into your inner part of your pinky. How can you remember that? Everybody let's make a pinky promise and let's promise from our heart to always take care of our heart. And the heart channel is symmetrical. So everybody take your other hand, raise that roof, raise your armpit, the heart channel, cheer, get your heart excited. You're happy for four seasons, qigong, and give me a high five. And let's touch the heart channel right under the armpit. When your heart is too hot, this is when you sweat, right under the armpit. So everybody, let's trace a line and draw a red line because the heart is the fire element where you get your passion, and drawing all the way to the inner part of your pinky. So everybody, let's make a pinky promise, interlock our pinky, hold it close to your heart, and take a moment, promise from your heart, you always take care of your heart. Few deep breaths. Good, so that's the heart channel. And I'll show you the second channel, which is your lungs. Everybody give me a thumbs up. If you like Chinese medicine, thumbs up. And when you're really happy, bouncing thumbs up. This here, when you're inspired, think of lungs as inspiration. Your lungs take care of inspiration on the physical level, but also on the spiritual and mental level. Let's trace the lung channel. Everybody, shake my hand. Good. When you shake your hand, everybody touch the corner of your chest. This is where the lung channel starts. 
So anytime when you do these movements that come in, like hugs, you're squeezing the lung channel to help the energy circulate. So let's draw from the corner of your chest, give me a thumbs up, and trace it all the way to your thumb. Good. And thumbs up. Other side, because it's symmetrical, give me a handshake, touching the corner of your chest, and draw a line. This is a white line because the met the lungs are the metal element. Drawing a white line all the way to your thumbs. So today we're going to learn three acupressure points that will help you strengthen your immune system. We'll apply it to the autumn set. So these two points are on your wrist, one on the lung channel, one on the heart channel. Everybody give me a goodbye. Autumn is the season of letting go of all negativity. All old negativity you don't need anymore. Everybody, let's wave goodbye and send that away. And remember that here, anytime when you bend your wrist, so I loved doing the exercises that Violet was doing, all this shaking hands, this is strengthening your heart and your lung channel. All these movements that bend the wrist, this is help opening two important acupressure points. Everybody, let's draw that heart channel from under the heart, under the armpit, straight line, red line, going to inner part of your pinky. From your inner part of your pinky, come back down to your wrist and wave goodbye. Everybody touching, feeling that tendon right on the pinky side, jump over it, coming in closer to the center. This here, put your thumb in that little pocket and gently bend. This is called heart number seven. In Chinese, sen men. Sen is your spirit. Men is your gate. So this gate, when it opens, this helps connect with your spirit. That's your energy at the finest level. So this point is very good for anxiety, helping you to calm your mind, helping you to sleep and relax. When you're relaxed, that's when your immune system is the strongest. So let's take a minute, wave goodbye, and massage this point. Heart number seven, Senmen, spirit gate, on the pinky side. So whenever we do exercises, when you twist your hand, make sure you twist that heart seven point on the pinky. And let's go to the other side. So I'll put a little sticker on this heart seven, drawing from under the armpit, heart radiating all the way to your inner pinky, pinky promise. And let's come back down to the wrist crease, putting on the pinky side, this is heart number seven, hopping over the tendon and push this point right on the wrist crease. Let your anxieties go, let them goodbye. And let's push this point. I'm gonna show you two more important points to strengthen your immune system. So we have heart seven to calm the mind, keep you relaxed. We have also here on the wrist, you have on the thumb side, everybody give me that thumbs up for inspiration and bring it down to your thumb where your wrist crease is. And this time we're gonna hop over to the thumb side of your tendon. Can you feel that little tendon on the thumb side? Here, we're going to put Massage this point, this is called lung nine. Very good to strengthen your lung energy, lung chi, and also your lung yin. Think of that as water. So this point, let's push this point. Every time when you wave your hand, this is going to strengthen the lung nine point. On both sides, so give me your other side, thumbs up. And let's tra trace that line from the corner of your chest all the way to your thumb. And let's come back to the wrist crease. Here on the thumb side, feel that little tendon on the crease and hop it over. Stay on the thumb, the ra radio side as the thumb side of the tendon. This point will help strengthen your lung energy. The last point is called your lung seven. So lung nine is this point in Chinese called Tai Yuan. Tai means greater, yuan means abyss. 
abyss, that means this has a bottomless pit. This can give you bottomless energy, bottomless yin. Let's go to the last point here. Let's make two number sevens. I'm going to show you long number seven. So with your thumb and your index finger, interlock your fingers. So let's turn one of them over and interlock it. Where your index finger touches your bone, this here, everybody feel your crease, that lung side where there's a little bit of a bump. This here is lung number seven when you go past the wrist crease. So at this point, this is very strong for your immune system, especially when you catch a cold, you have a headache, you sneeze or you have runny nose, you cough, or you have a sore throat or stiff neck. This point, lung seven in Chinese is lie chue. Lie chue means broken sequence. This is part of the lung channel. So everybody, let's practice these points. So we're going to practice the autumn set together using all of these acupressure points. Everybody, let's get ready. Swing your arms. I'll show you one movement for each season from the eight pieces of brocade, just like what Violet was doing. I'll show you how to apply it to the seasons. And then we'll start, we'll finish with the autumn set. Everybody give me your left hand and draw a line across. We're going to show you how the seasons change. Everybody use your right hand. Imagine this is sunrise. Sunrise, we talked about the 24 hour clock. Sunrise, that means your yang, your heat is growing. As you reach the top, this is the sun at its peak, the hottest. When you come down, here on the right, this is your autumn, this is your sunset. Coming all the way down, this is midnight, this is like your winter. One more time, let's connect the sun with the seasons. Sunrise, this is spring. At the peak, this is the noon time, this is summer. Coming late down on the right, this is autumn. That means the yin, the cold is growing. Come all the way down at midnight, this is winter. So you'll see that life has a circle. When it's spring, spring is a season. Everybody take your right hand, put it on your liver on the right. Here you did it in the A pieces brocade. When you have lifting the hand singly, separating heaven and earth, this is a good movement to do during the spring. So everybody practice a few times. Squeeze, letting your chest come in. Bring up your elbow to stretch the liver on the right. Turn your palm, remember that heart point on the pinky wrist and the thumb on the lung channel. Push up and push down. Elbow on the other side, twist your wrist, pushing up on heaven and pushing down on the earth. Two more times. This one is for the liver in the spring. Open that right side, feel that stretch. Inhale, coming back in. Use your elbow, lift up on the left. This is for your spleen, for any worries. And gently come down. So this exercise is very good for the spring. That's for your liver connected with anger. Spring is a season of birth, things that are growing. It's good to eat vegetables, especially sprouts, things that are just starting to grow. Let's come to the peak. This is the sun at its peak. This is summer. When it's the hottest, we say the yang, Y-A-N-G, that's the heat, is at the hottest. During this time, it's good to cool your heart. Earlier, you did this exercise where you squat down and you sway your head to one side and you swing your tail. Everybody feel the front of your lungs. This is lung one and two, where the lung channel starts, just relaxing. The lung is metal and the metal cools, subdues the heart fire. Gently swing to the other side, swing your head, feel your lung metal subduing your heart fire. 
one more time each side. This is very good for the summertime. And also during the noon, when the sun is at its peak, change sides. And slowly come in from the center, rise up. So that's the summer when it's the hottest. It's good to cool your heart. Let's come to autumn. We'll come back to autumn. Let's go all the way down to the winter. During your winter, it's important to strengthen your kidneys. So kidneys is in the lower back. You have this exercise, two hands holding the feet. So this one, you can feel your kidneys being compressed. That's massaging your kidneys. And slowly stand up as high as you can. Open the kidneys in the lower back and two hands come down and hold your feet. Let's go two more times together. This one's for the winter. And slowly come down. Slide up one more time as high as you can. And gently bend as low as you can without hurting your back. And let's slide up. So that one's very good for the winter to nourish the kidneys. Let's come back to autumn. Autumn now, we want to strengthen the lungs. Remember, we want to make these movements to squeeze lung one and two, and to move the wrists for your lung nine to nourish your chi and your yin and the heart side. So let's do a, a, ten, a 10 minute routine together. So in the, the lung channel, the lung in numerology coordinates with the number nine We'll repeat each exercise nine times, and you have nine exercises. So let's start by swinging the arms back and forth. This is the first exercise, backward and forward, swinging the arms. Strengthen your lungs in the front. Have it swing to the front, and have it swing to the back, using the back of your lungs. This is good for any types of asthma and anxiety. Coming forward as high as you can, about nine times. And let's change to the sides of the lungs, crossing in front and on the sides. So add a little twist for your lung channel. Twist your wrists in and out. nine times and make sure you open your lower back by making it round every time when you strengthen your kidneys that's the base of your immune system and let's change to number two have your arms in front and as if you're grabbing two wheels this is called left and right turn the windlass so you'll squeeze your whole arms. You can feel it coming forward, squeezing lung one and two. Lungs are connected with the emotion of sadness. The points here, lung one and two, this is good for opening up sadness. So you'll see when your arms come forward, these are sad lungs. When your lungs come back, these are happy lungs. Everybody makes sad lungs. And push lung one and two back, happy lungs. So let your heart shine, your happiness. That's one of the best ways to boost your immune system. So let's turn the left and right, turn the windlass. Inhale, squeeze up. Exhale as you come forward. Continue for nine times. See if you can bend your wrist for lung number nine and heart number seven. After nine times, let's reverse it. So now push down and pull back as if you're rowing a boat. See how you're squeezing lung one and two and opening. Gently squeeze your wrist to harmonize on the pinky side for your calming your mind and on the thumb side for strengthening your chi and your yin.
nine times. And then let's go to number three. Bring your hands up. This is called Feudal Lord Pulls the Bow. As if you have a bow and arrow and you're pulling it across your head. Open. Feel that lung one and two opening up. Happy lungs. And gently come in. Sad lungs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Continue for nine times. We'll do three times in the front. Turn to the right and three times and the left. Gently turn to your right to harmonize your liver. This is for the emotion of stress and anger. Squeeze and stretch. Two more times. And gently come to your left side for your spleen. Your spleen also helps with your energy for the immune system. Helps you to process your sugars. If you want a strong immune system, try to avoid any processed sugar, especially during autumn and winter. One more time on the left for the spleen. And let's come back to the center. We're gonna change to the fourth exercise. This is called Immortal Pushes the Stone. So you have your front hand is vertical. You're gently squeezing your lung nine point. Tai Yuan, the greater abyss. And you're stretching open on the pinky side, your heart number seven to calm your mind. Back hand is horizontal, front hand is vertical. Inhale, squeeze in your chest. Exhale, change. Front hand is vertical. Back hand is horizontal. Feel your lungs opening up. Inhale, chest in. Exhale, chest out. Inhale, open that lower back. Nice round back. Chest in. Exhale, chest out. Continue. This time we're going to add in turning your neck. So look behind as you turn. This will open all the muscles from your neck connecting with your chest and your lungs. Continue nine times. Inhale. Exhale. At your own pace. In and out. Squeeze, chest in and arc the back and straight. Continue for two more times. Let's go to number five, large rock. The rock is a big legendary bird. Imagine your arms like a wings and the large rock is gonna arc its wings. So see how you're twisting your hands to open the heart, number seven, send men to calm your mind. And number seven, to number nine, to open your chi for your lungs and nourish it with yin. Inhale, coming back in. Exhale, large rock arcs its wings. Inhale, coming back in. Exhale, arc your wings. Nice round back. Open the kidneys, the base of your immune system. And continue every time when you lift your arms. This is also opening lung seven to strengthen your lung chi for your immune system. Continue for three times in the front, three times to your right, and three times to your left. Inhale, twist the hands and exhale. 
One more time in the front. To your right, inhale. Let's smile inside your smile. Smile to your liver. Every time your liver is getting angry, upset, gently smile, an inner smile to nourish your kit, your liver. Two more times. Finishing your third time, bring it back to your center and turn to your left. For your spleen is connected with emotions of worry. So let's gently soothe out those worries. Give it another inner smile to your spleen. Calm down those worries. One more time on the left. Coming back to the center, we're going to bring the hands to the back. This is number six. Large rock are, spreads its wings. So you're bringing it to the back to strengthen the back of your lungs. So gently push back your shoulders, elbows, and wrists. Gently squeeze forward for lung one and two, pushing back the elbows and the wrists, gently bending the wrist to open that heart seven for your spirit, and lung nine for your chi and yin. Two more times. Coming to the side, the right side, three times to the side. And change to the left side. Large rock spreads its wings. Number six. Coming back to the center, let's go to number seven. You have this in the eight pieces brocade. Spread the feet a little short, wider than your shoulders. Turn your thumb towards you. That will twist your heart, nine, heart seven and lung nine points, landing on your knees. Unsway your head to one side and wag your tail. Imagine you have a little tail. Other side. One more time each side and sway your head and wag your tail feel the front of your lungs relax harmonizing with your heart gently let's come up a little higher sway your head to the side let's open up your hand on one side feel that stretch in the kidneys coming back to the other side and open your hand one more time each side Number seven, sway your head and swing your tail. Last time. Gently come up from the center. We're gonna go to number eight, two more exercises. This is called a baby bird request for food. Having your elbows like your baby wings. You're opening your heart one point to make you happy, bring joy in your life. And imagine you're just a little baby bird. Have your wrists bend and open the lung one and two. Let's go three times in the front. Baby bird request for food. Three times on the right, harmonizing for your liver and your lungs. And a little bit on your left for your spleen and your worries. Baby bird, coming back to center, we're going to go to number nine. Your arms are gonna become the large wings of a white crane, and you're going to gently shake out your wings, circling them forward, palm up by your waist, and gently twist your hands coming forward. Make sure you twist that lung nine and the heart seven. Strengthen your spirit and your lungs. Open those wings and squeeze it forward. Let's go three times in the front. This is the last one. White crane spread, shakes its wings. Number nine. Turn to your right three times.
Let your elbows and wrists flow. Come to your left. Shake your wings on the left. Coming back to center, we're going to slowly finish, putting one hand in the energy center and use a single wing. This helps open kidneys in the lower back. Feel that reach across your body. Feel that twist in your lower back for your kidneys. That will prepare you for winter, strengthening the base of your immune system. And change sides, change hands. Feel that stretch in the lower back. And let's slowly finish by alternating right and left. Feel continue your lower back opens. Nice and relaxed. And at the end, let's finish on our energy center in Chinese Dantian. That's your elixir field where you can make more energy. Putting both our palms there, let's close our eyes for five deep breaths. Connect with your center. Two more deep breaths. And for your last deep breath, send in an inner smile to your energy center. And gently open your eyes. Awesome job. I give you thumbs up, bouncing thumbs up for your lungs. And a big raising the roof, opening your heart channel to shine. Let your heart be happy. So today you learned about two major important points plus a supplementary one. Remember that pinky promise from your heart, that's your heart channel, that comes from under the armpit and passing the wrist onto your inner pinky. And coming back to the wrist, remember heart seven, senman, spirit gate allows you to calm your mind, relax those anxieties. On the other side, the thumb, this is the lung channel, lung number nine, which strengthens your chi and your yin, that's your fluids. So always when we do exercises, remember, let your both wrists on both sides for heart and lungs to keep circulating for your immune system. So I want to thank you very much for joining me today. And I want to thank Violet for inviting me. So it's a pleasure to be able to share my knowledge with you. If you'd like to also continue some of the exercises, I'm doing the White Crane Soft Qigong free on YouTube on Tuesday mornings here in the East Coast on online. And that will help strengthen your lung health. And on Thursdays, I'm doing the eight pieces of brocade, one of the best ways to strengthen your immune system. So hope you'll join me if you want more information about my classes. Uh, come to tcmtime.com. TCM is Chinese med traditional Chinese medicine. So thank you very much. Until next time. This is TCM time. Keep lighting your hell shine. Wow, that that was really, really awesome. What the everyone points thing. Isn't that a great class? <laughs> oh, thanks, Violet. Oh. <laughs> it's nice. Thank you. It's <laughs> nice. Okay, well uh, um I um I had so much fun with this class, and uh, I think uh, uh, I, I really appreciate, uh, uh, Kathy, your teaching method, and uh, you make learning to be a lot more fun, and uh, you have given us a lot of information. And uh, um, David was saying, he said, you know, he arrived uh, late, and uh, he had to leave early, but he can watch the, the, mm. the, the taping afterwards, and uh, actually for myself, I was following you, but some because you got so much information for for us, right? So I feel like I need to go back and watch it again and again. So everyone, um, uh, if you're like me, yes, and uh, 
uh, once this is a broadcast live, you can always watch it again on my Facebook uh, pages. Actually, I uh, have uh, four pages. Uh, and then also on YouTube. And uh, so you, you can can uh, get more out of uh, uh, Kathy's great teaching. And uh, if you want more, and uh, like uh, you can go to her uh, TCN time, uh, Tom uh, and uh, for medicine, C, uh, uh, Tom, T for traditional, T yes. C for Chinese, M for medicine, traditional Chinese medicine time, T I M E. So TCM time, you can go there and uh, get more information uh, out of it. And uh, also, uh, um, um, <laughs> what happened? Sorry, I, I touched my phone by mistake. And uh, um, so someone was asking me a question. Say, why don't we do um, do the uh, Zoom meeting? Yeah, I, I think a Zoom meeting does have a uh, Arch Archangel Bob as say, well, can you do do on Zoom so we can see each other? I think that's a great idea. Uh, it's uh, one uh, drawback about Zoom is um, uh, Zoom. Yes, they, it allows an uh, interactive. Um, uh, you know, um, exchange. Uh, however, you can only in interface with so many people. And like this class, in some of the, the episodes, you have like um, 6,000 people watch, and then you, you definitely, <laughs> you cannot interact with 6,000 people at the same time. Uh, but uh, I, I believe both Kathy and myself, we offer uh, small classes on Zooms, and then yes, we can see each other. Uh, but uh, for for the this live streaming class because it, it's uh, broadcast to the world and currently we have probably uh, forty of uh, uh, countries, uh, you know, people come uh, from forty different countries attend this class. So it, uh, Zoom definitely is not a great platform for for the things we like to to accomplish here. But uh, Arch, you you definitely have a great idea. Again, you know. Um, if, if you want to, you can attend uh, Kathy and myself's uh, Zoom classes. And uh, Kathy, thank you so, so, so much for coming. Uh, I know you are very busy and that you're also offering uh, free lessons on your own channels and uh, that's very nice. But uh, if you want to come back again, if you can find time on your calendar and uh, the door is open for you always, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, please do consider that. Thank you again very much mm -hmm. for your time and your knowledge. And uh, everyone, as you know, and I'm doing this all on my own and I spend my own money and I don't take any advertisement because I want it to, to be impartial. And uh, so, so yes, I'm not, not taking any money. Um, so because <laughs> I don't get income, I'm not, 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 saying not getting income, I'm spending my own money. So I cannot afford to, to pay any of these um, great uh, guest instructors like Kathy. So again, Kathy, I really appreciate your, your volunteerism. Thank you, thank you so thank much. You. My pleasure. Okay, thank you, everyone, bye. If you have any mm -hmm. comments and, um, and suggestions, please drop me a note, okay? Thank you so much, thank bye. You.